the exponential equations as logarithmic equations. To do this we need to understand this red logarithmic equation and this red exponential equation are equivalent or mean the same thing. So log base b of n equals a is equivalent to b raised to the power of a equals n. We need to be able to recognize that b represents the base in both equations, a represents the exponent in both equations, and n would be the number in both equations. And since we have exponential equations, we're going to convert from this form on the right to the log equation on the left here. So the first step here is we know we're going to need a logarithm, so let's go ahead and write down log. We know it's going to be equal to something. And now let's start by identifying the base, which would be e. Notice how the logarithm is equal to a, which is the exponent. So this log will be equal to x and the number is 24, which goes in this position here. So we have log base e of 24 equals x. But we're not actually done here because log base e is called natural log. And there's a special way to write all logarithms with base e. Look, so if we take a look below here, if we have log base e of x, we just write ln x. So ln represents log base e, which means we can rewrite this as natural log 24 equals x. This is the correct way to write this exponential equation as a log equation. We don't want to leave it in this form here. Next we have e to the fourth equals x. So we'll go ahead and write this as a log equation. So we'll have log and then equals something. Our base is e. A log is an exponent. Our exponent is four. So this equals four. And this is equal to x, which is our number. So the x goes here. Again, this is correct, but not written in the correct notation because it's log base e is natural log. So we need to rewrite this as ln x equals four. So when we see ln, we need to think log base e, but write it using this notation here.